Welcome to Ether Ascended. Welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Today's reading is looking into what is currently being hidden from you. Okay, so we have five options today. Option one with the Rose Quartz Tumble. Option two with this Fluorite Octahedron. Option three with the Botswana Ag Agate, sorry. Tumble and Pile Four. I think this is Aragonite. It looks like waves and you know it looks like the sea it's really beautiful it's a t uh yeah and then we have uh ametrine tumble okay take a deep breath and exhale like this video subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel save this video if you want to watch it later share this video with someone you feel may need this message take another deep breath and exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. Pause the video now if you need more time to choose your pile. See you at your pile. Okay, welcome pile one if you chose this um, rose quartz tumble. This is your reading. So let's see what is being hidden from you at this time. Uh, what is the universe hiding from you? So we have a bag something important such as a new job or a raise okay you may be um getting a new job or a raise or being considered for a new job or a raise okay the bag so seems like finance is improving as well the valley okay ain't no valley low enough ain't no mountain high enough that song could be relevant to you deep personal strength and peace that assure success so the fact that you've been working at being at peace, the fact that you have developed a lot of strength and you are a strong person and you have been um, peaceful, something about your energy being very peaceful is what is assuring you success. Your strength and your peace, something about the way you contribute to an environment is being acknowledged and rewarded. And that is... Part of why you're going to be successful here with a job or a raise is because you bring peace and strength. It's like you have a strong backbone or you create the strong back backbone in the environment where you are. So for some of you, instead of a job or a raise, this means more clients or more sales, okay? More money coming in. We have I. So something about your eyes, uh, go get your eyes checked. I just heard that, but it says psychic ability, trust your intuition. So you have a strong, um, your strong psychic ability, the strongest one would be claircognizance. So you have a strong intuition. Keep following your intuition. You're also very clairvoyant. And your intuition has been guiding you toward the success that you're about to get. Um, you're seen as an important piece of the puzzle somewhere. And we have pale, time to get out of a situation. So if your intuition is telling you to get out of a situation, and if you do get out of that situation, don't worry because there will be a promotion or a raise or success if you do this in a way that is peaceful. Also, I'm hearing this job or raise or more clients or whatever this is, the success that you're going to get is going to allow you to get out of a situation that you've been divinely guided to get out of. Okay, five of cups. You have been disappointed in the past. You've dealt with some form of disappointment here. Okay. You could have Mars in Scorpio or something like that. You have the tower, but that's the end of the disappointment. You're coming to an end of a time that has been very disappointing, and it's going to be happening all of a sudden, out of the blue, like... All of a sudden and out of the blue, you're getting something important that's going to allow you to end some kind of disappointing circumstances or situation in your life. Yeah, Knight of Cups, someone's bringing you some good news. The bearer of these good news could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. You could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. But I'm feeling the bearer of these good news is someone who has strong Scorpio in their chart, is what I'm seeing here. And we have the Hermit. So yeah, this is being kept from you. It's like, 
or there's going to be a time where this is is this good news is coming to you but before anything can unfold there needs to be uh, stuff that is discussed behind closed doors or this is just like between you and this person for now is what I'm seeing here. Two of Cups. Okay, so this shows some kind of disappointment in a partnership in the past. Could have been a work partnership, even a love partnership. Maybe both you worked and um, you had a love connection and a work connection together. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could have been definitely a business partnership or a marriage that fell apart or is going to but it's 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 to make space for something better for a new beginning a new beginning that is more beneficial to you financially okay uh but you may be a little bit conflicted about this but it will be more beneficial to you. This is good news here. Okay? Yeah, I just to clarify this, uh, so there are gonna be people who are not gonna like this new beginning that you're having, but good news is it's going to be what's best for you and people will end up understanding it and being on board. But there are some details that are conflictuous here that need to be dealt with before this can move forward is what I'm seeing here. But it will move forward. We have the Knight of Wands. It will move forward. And you will have your, your fulfillment, your wish fulfillment here with this situation, okay? So pile one, that was uh, what is currently being hidden from you. So um, it was a quick one, but I hope this resonated. If it did, let me know how in the comment section. If not, choose another pile. Like, subscribe, hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. And uh, see you sometime soon. Bless you all. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, pile two. If you chose this fluoride octahedron, this is your reading. So let's see what is currently being hidden from you. What is the universe hiding from you currently? Okay, we have rat. Someone working against you behind your back. Okay, that's never nice to see. But anyway, let's find out more. Frying pan, trouble and accusations. Maybe this person is accusing you of something behind your back. Okay. Romance, celebration and party. Maybe this person is secretly your fan, but maybe they want to be you. So they try and tear you down by accusing you of stuff behind your back. Maybe this is someone you celebrate with or party with. And we have karma, haystack. You will reap what you have sown. So whoever is doing this behind your back will get their karma, very simply put, okay? Because that's how the universe works, okay? So we have four of pentacles, sun and Capricorn. This person could be a Capricorn born, someone who is born the last week of December or first week, three weeks of January, okay? Or maybe this is you, but this is, this is about power. This is about someone who wants power over you or wants to have your power, okay? And this person is persistent. They're not giving up, but I do feel there is an element of mental... Anguish. This person has poor mental health. And they keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. Yeah, this person has a lot of mentally troubled. And that's why they act this way. But even, even in that, there is a lesson for people who do this, no matter... If, if there is something going on with their mental health, they need to get themselves checked. Yes, this is definitely someone who has mental health. So, you know, even if they're doing this, they're not really going to accomplish much. And just be compassionate because they're going through it, okay? Uh, they don't really know any better is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, but this person is healing or whatever karma this person gets will set them into their healing. Okay. And figuring out what they need to heal inside of them. I even feel this person will end up realizing that they did you wrong, okay? 
yeah, you will be successful over this whole situation. It won't really affect you, but you'll hear about it. You'll know about it. It'll shake things up a little bit. Motivation. If anything, it'll give you motivation to keep just being, you know, because you know you're inspiring and motivating people. You're actually motivating this person to heal themselves because you're being like a mirror to this person. Okay, wow, interesting. You're being, uh, um, like, uh, you're being like a catalyst for this person to change and really look at themselves and what they need to work on because they're going to realize, this person's going to realize that what they were doing is not right. Whatever karma they get is going to show them and make them want to change. And, and I do even here apologize to you. If they don't apologize to you, just know that just get closure for yourself with this reading, okay? So, yeah. So maybe what you came here to 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 really know is that um, the reason why someone did this. Um, and now you know it's mental health. Poor mental health, okay? So, pile two, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Um, yeah, this was your reading. Bless you all and see you sometime soon. Bye, till next time. Welcome, pile three. If you chose this Botswana agate, this is your reading. Botswana, sorry, not Botswana. Botswana agate. So let's see what is currently being hidden from you. We have the carrot. Is someone dangling a carrot in front of you? Well, if they are, it's because there is an opportunity or a windfall, okay? This is not just dangling a carrot, is what I heard. Clouds. The, the problems you're going through are temporary. Um, because what's to come, a bowl, plenty of material things are actually on the way. Okay. But there are still some obstacles to overcome. But there, you will overcome them because these problems are temporary. These obstacles are temporary, okay? Alchemy, we have temperance energy. The number 14 could be relevant to you. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. Sagittarius is connected to Jupiter, so that means abundance, okay? Right now, whatever you're doing to raise your vibration is working. You are transmuting negative energy into positive energy, and of course that will lead you to an opportunity and a windfall. Okay, but you've been patient about this. This is all happening in divine timing, and this is taking a bit of patience from you. But the wheel is turning. Look at that. The wheel is turning in your favor. It's the end of these temporary problems coming very, very soon. Okay. You need to make a decision here, or a decision is being made right now. A judgment. This is big energy. We have three major ar arcana out of four. Five of Swords. You feel defeated. Judgment. Scorpio energy. Someone here could have Scorpio. Seven of Swords. Okay, so what you're doing, what you're alchemizing is a tendency to self-sabotage. To think poorly of uh, the assumptions you make of what you're capable of, of who you are, your self-concept, what you're capable of, what, what can happen with your life. You are healing self-sabotaging ways. And you're substituting these negative affirmations that keep replaying in your mind for positive ones. Good. So that's how you're changing. That's how the wheel is changing. That's how you're changing things around for yourself. That's how you're transmuting things. And right now you're going through a recovery phase when it comes to choosing, making healthy choices as to what you think and say about your life and yourself. So you're choosing to say and do and think healthier things. Okay, good. Two of Pentacles. This is giving you more to work with. This is giving you more options. So what this is saying is that in you, in your life, there's a huge potential for you to reach a lot of abundance. 
but you need to overcome a tendency to self-sabotage and to defeat yourself before you even begin and think that you are worth way less than you are or that you are less capable than you are or that you can't accomplish and have certain things just like everyone else because if you walk around if you go around you will see that there's so many people driving really good cars so many people living really beautiful lives having all this money to put their kids in school uh, and in college and have these really nice homes and there's so many people who do have these things so what this is showing me that is being hidden from you is the fact that you you don't understand how your mindset has been playing into this dynamic and the way to turn this around and to tap into that potential that is for you because look the wheel of fortune is wealth that is what is in your energy and what's blocking it is your self-sabotage the, the things you're thinking basically your self-concept and your assumptions about what you believe is possible in your life. Just think, look around you. If it's possible for other people, it's possible for you. It really is. Okay, and that's what you need to focus on. So that was your reading pile number three. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all and see you sometime soon. Like, subscribe, hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. And see you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Bless you. Welcome, Pile 4. If you chose this aragonite, then I think it's Caribbean, Caribbean aragonite. Yeah, this is your reading. So let's see what is currently being hidden from you. What is currently being hidden from you? We have the tree, affairs with your family. So something to do with your family or your ancestors, your family tree, something to do with that some form of stability or something you've always known. We have new home, new attitude. So maybe someone in your family is moving to a new home or you're going to be able to move your family to a new home and you're gonna to have to do some cleaning up either in the new home or the old home. We have bull, do not back down from oppositions, show strength and fortitude. Someone here could have bull in their Chinese astrology, doesn't have to be, but it says if you come across any opposition within your family about changing to a new home because of your new attitude just keep don't back down and keep showing strength and fortitude because this is telling me that you know exactly what you want we have hammock taking taking a vacation physically or mentally so you're going to be able to relax and take a vacation either after you move to this new home or during or before or whatever not only will you be able to move to a new home you're going to be able to stand up for yourself and you're going to be able to take a vacation okay satiety we have ten of cups so you're going to be very emotionally fulfilled when it comes to family matters okay so I see a lot of happiness when it comes to family matters and emotional fulfillment. King of Wands. You could have Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in your chart. You're taking charge of the situation. Uh, for some of you, you're going to be able to start a, a life and a family with someone in a new home and start a family. And this could be with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, masculine energy. If you're not, if you're the masculine Leo, Sagittarius, Aries then you're going to be able to start a family in a new home or take your family to a new home and take charge of the situation. If you're in feminine energy, there is a masculine energy coming through predominantly Leo Sagittarius Aries and who will bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment you're, and in, take charge of creating or finding or getting or paying for a new home for your family or to start a family. Yes. Uh, Whatever it is you want, masculine or feminine energy that you may be, keep keep going. Don't back down. Just be very assertive and, and very communicate exactly what it is you want. Don't settle and you will get exactly what you want. Yes, and you will build such a strong, stable foundation and, and a very successful family life that will allow you 
to also relax and feel physically and mentally free to relax and recover and and take a vacation basically your hard work is paying off we have the five of wands there may have been competition or struggles or challenges going on when it comes to your family life in some way shape or form or just challenges um, we have the seven of pentacles but you've been very patient about this You've planted some good seeds and your hard work is paying off, exactly. Nine of Wands, it's felt like battle after battle after battle, like people telling you one thing, you standing your ground, keep going, because you're trusting your intuition and that's the right thing to do. And we have the Queen of Wands, so we have divine counterparts, King and Queen of Wands here. So this could mean that you both have Leo Sagittarius Aries in your chart, fire signs, or it could mean that you're both twin flames even if you don't have these fire signs in your chart. What I'm seeing here is you are creating a stable, solid foundation with your twin flame. And the relationship with this person is going to feel like, it's not going to feel like hard work. It's going to feel like, work is not going to feel like work. It's going to feel like one big holiday. Work is going to be fun. Work is going to be fun. So... Okay, this is your reading, basically. This is what is being hidden from you. Um, okay, so maybe you're moving to a new home, okay? Uh, and maybe you're going on a vacation with your divine counterpart as well after a time of challenges and uh, just cycles and battles. And you're going to uh, come out victorious from these battles and these cycles and these co this competition or these challenges trials and tribulations that you've been with through with your person it's coming to an end and you're going to be able to build a solid foundation that is going to allow you to spend time together okay that was your reading pile number four it was a pleasure to read for you guys today subscribe hit the bell and like this video if you'd like to be notified of future of future uploads on the channel bless you see you sometime soon bye till next time Welcome, Pile 5. If you chose this Amatrine Tumble, this is your reading. This is what's currently being hidden from you. We have Horseshoe. Good luck. Good luck is coming your way. So you know what they say about good luck. It's a combination of preparation and opportunity. So be prepared because there's an opportunity coming. Or maybe there's an opportunity coming that you are prepared for. If not, get prepared because it's coming. This could be coming from an older man or connected to an older man or a relationship with an older man. Maybe you are the older man and there is a streak of good luck here coming for you. We have candle. You will be shown the way. So your intuition is guiding you. You will be getting uh, synchronicity, signs and synchronicities. We have sunrise. New creative ideas, new venture and a fresh start. So. There's new creative ideas coming for you. Uh, you are being divinely guided and inspired here. Uh, there's a new venture or adventure here, a fresh start for you. And um, could be connected to an older man or maybe you are the older man again. Justice, you're getting your justice and this is bringing balance to your life. You could have Libra in your chart. Uh, some of you are getting good luck with a court case or a legal case or a contract. Six of Cups, Pleasure, and Sun in Scorpio. Someone here could have Scorpio in their chart. Um, there could be a reconciliation with an older man here or with someone from a past life or from your past when you were younger. Or you're going to set things straight and fair with this person a reconciliation it could be that there's someone coming from your past to bring you justice karmic balance and a new beginning so it seems like you're going on a new journey in life and you are being shown the way it's like sunrise a new beginning exactly a new venture fresh start you're having a fresh start in your life, whether you're this older man or whoever you are. 
and you will be financially independent and feeling really good about yourself. And this, this new start could have something to do with money as well. But it's something that you're going to have fun doing. It's going to bring you pleasure at the same time. So it's not going to seem like hard work. Ace of Pentacles, a new, long-lasting, stable, healthy beginning. Prosperous. Ace of Pentacles. So you're grounding something maybe with a contract that is going to be very long-lasting and stable and prosperous and healthy and in the physical like material wise could be a new something as a reunion with someone here maybe with this older man maybe you're the older man wanting a reunion here with someone from your past or a past life or someone you've known for many years a higher level soulmate could be someone with whom you have this basis of a friendship but this new beginning is bringing you anxiety this new beginning is bringing you some anxiety maybe some sleepless nights you're worried about this queen of the ocean we have the empress so we already have two people here uh, someone here could have Libra or Taurus in their chart Okay, so I'm seeing several things here. Either you're a feminine energy dealing with an older man and you're going to start a new venture together or have a new start together. You have a lot of creative ideas between the two of you and it's going to bring in a lot of abundance. And this is a very stable beginning with this person that starts with some kind of a contract and this is good luck. There seems to be a good understanding between the two of you. You are on some level soulmates. You are friends as well. And if you're the feminine energy, this person sees you as ticking off all the boxes, whether this is romantic or just work-related. And you both will be very abundant together, is what I'm seeing here, whether this is work or romance, again, or a friendship. Um, maybe you're the one... Maybe this person is getting anxiety over this, but someone is or will be. Okay, this could be going through a phase of anxiety here, but the end result is abundance. So if you're in this pre-empress stage, which is the Nine of Pentacles, you're upgrading to the Empress with whatever creative ideas and ventures you have in a fresh start. And there could be an older man connected to this, or maybe you're the older man and you're also the empress here being represented like going from being financially stable and whatever to upgrading to a position where abundance is ever flowing with this fresh start, this new venture here. And this has to do with some form of reunion here and a fresh start in your life. And this is good luck. So whatever new beginning you're considering here is good luck. And it's going to bring in abundance. So we start with good luck, we end with abundance. There's some anxiety here, nothing that you can't overcome, and nothing that won't be rewarded in the end, okay? So, wow, pile number five, that was your reading, and five is a pile of change, so there's change coming for the better, and for an upgrade here is what I'm seeing, a new life, a fresh start, a sunrise in your life, no matter how old you are, uh, is what I'm seeing here. So, that was your reading, it was a pleasure to read for you guys today, subscribe, hit the bell, and like this video if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you. I'll see you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time.